I've got a bit of a bone to pick with atheists. There's a lot of good atheists out there. Carl Sagan was probably one of my favourites. Uh, and yet I see Richard Dawkins in the blurb of one of his books talking about how the ancient Egyptians were very primitive and didn't understand science and used ridiculous stories to try and explain the cycles of the heavens. Well, I've got a bone to pick with that. See, I don't buy that. I don't. And I think that dismissing and getting rid of religious stories and texts and uh, philosophies would be a great loss to the world. So I can't be an anti-theist. I wouldn't want to. There are native Australian uh, tribes that told stories that sounded remarkably like the end of an ice age. They talk about it being very, very cold and being able to take canoes over distances that would take much more than a canoe today. That sounds a lot like the end of the last ice age. And when you get that there's been records of native Australians as we know them now in Australia for uh, about 40,000 years, that's definitely something to think about. Stories are a great way of passing down information. And if we get rid of all the stories or we start ignoring them, we may lose a great chunk of our history. Uh, if we get rid of uh, the philosophies, we may learn, lose a lot of information and have to relearn it painfully and slowly about psychology and, uh, and human relationships. There's a lot of great information to be gleaned sociologically, as, uh, astrologically. There is so much there. The, the Dogon people uh, of uh, Africa, those people knew about Sirius B. They called it the little seed in the sky. And that star supposedly wasn't a, uh, visible to us until we got much, much more powerful telescopes because you usually can't see Sirius B around Sirius. What I'm saying is, whenever I see an atheist who's used to dealing with Christian fundamentalists or legalistic sorts who believe in the literal interpretation of, uh, or the literal translation of a scripture ignoring context and uh, just used to jerks who use uh, the their religions to justify any cruelty or injustice or uh, inequity that they choose to promote that benefits them. I can, I can understand how you're used to going hardcore against these people. However, when you're looking at a text for its scientific relevance and finding extra meaning in there, then you're really doing what a good atheist should do, or in my opinion, the best atheists uh, I have uh, come across do, which is see interesting correlations and try and find the reason why. Because often those stories were used to pass down great, very detailed information, like The Wizard of Oz was actually a very, very uh, detailed story about the financial system in America when when they uh, were debating on the gold standard. And, yeah, if we just said Wizard of Oz is a cute little children's story, well, we missed the whole boat, didn't we? Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I hope this has given people something to think about.